God bless you all. This has been a great day. Look at you, north, south, east and west. It's wonderful to have you all here. 195 years ago, the Legislative Council was established down in Macquarie Street. In 1856, we got self-government. But we have never seen a bill that has destroyed life like this bill in, those, in, the, in two centuries. Shame, shame upon the parliament. But, shame for rushing a bill like this. It doesn't, the doctor doesn't even have to offer counselling in the bill. He can refuse to even suggest counselling. Do you realise that? I don't think our politicians have read the bill properly. They call it a conscience vote. I call upon Gladys Berejiklian and Jody McKay and John Barillaro not to punish any member of their party who votes against this bill. The, the politicians don't listen to us and the thousands of people who are gathered here in Hyde Park today, then as Barnaby Joyce reminded you, last, a couple of weeks ago in Martin Place, as Abraham Lincoln said, government is of the people, by the people, for the people. And he said, let not that perish on the earth. Let it not perish in New South Wales. And if they vote for this bill in any form that destroys life, at the next election, vote below the line. Take your choice. Read Hansard. See who voted for this bill. And you make your choice as the people of New South Wales. We shall not forget. The voice of the unborn cries out from the grave and we must save them and not let them die in this perilous situation that legislation could actually authorise the death of the unborn. There is so much deception in this bill. Look at the title. There's no reference to reproduction or health in this title, in this bill. It's about terminating pregnancies. They don't even like the word abortion. The word mother doesn't even appear. It's just person. How depersonalizing is this bill? The arrogance of the promoters of this bill wish to see it done and dusted in 72 hours. We thank God for the courageous people in the lower house and the upper house who prevented that. We're here today because we believe the child is precious to God made in his image. Therefore that child is precious to us. We've heard the heartbeat of that unborn child in Chantel's womb. There are so many other heartbeats, which if this bill goes ahead, will see come to an end, ruthlessly, mercilessly, abominably, and we must stand for life. Stand for life. Two-thirds, two-thirds of the citizens in New South Wales are people of faith. We are here today representing a small proportion of the large number of New South Wales. Did the parliamentaries think to even ask our advice? No. But we have strong Christian people on both sides of politics and on the cross benches, people of faith, and I want now to pray for them. And we're going to close this rally in prayer as we began at prayer.
We've got two Archbishops bookending this rally for you. And it's so great to be with my colleague, Anthony Fisher, Coptic Church, Malachite Church, Greek Orthodox Church, Armenian Church, Protestants and Catholics, Jews as well, anyone of faith who wants to see the unborn protected for the love of God. So let us pray. A moment of quiet. This is in the hands of God to rule the hearts of those who govern us in the upper house. May he do his work and may we bring our prayer before his holy throne. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, you who sit above the cherubim, enthroned in all your glory, look down upon us, we pray, and hear our prayer. We pray particularly for the unborn child, the voiceless among us. We thank you for mothers who have chosen life despite advice to the contrary. Father, we pray particularly for our politicians in the Legislative Council. Bless them with courage, with boldness. Enable them to stand for life in that chamber. And Father, by your mercy and by your power, bring about such amendments to this bill which would provide protection for the unborn. And if not, may this bill fail. Father, we commend this to you in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance and give you his peace. Amen.